Just brought home a new guitar. Well, it's new to me. It's actually a pretty old guitar. Let's take a closer look. As far as I can tell, this is an old Gibson Melody Maker, I think. But it's had some things done to it. One thing I noticed is that the horn, the lower horn, doesn't look quite right, at least compared to pictures I've seen on the internet of other 60s melody makers. They appear to have symmetrical bodies, so the lower horn looks about the same length as the top, but on this one it's shorter. And also, the pickguard doesn't look original. Again, in all the pictures I've seen, the original pickguards will come a lot closer to this curve here. And they also would say Melody Maker here, which this doesn't. And they also appear to be black, and this one is not black, it's Tortoise. The bridge and the pickup appear to be original, as far as I can tell. And the logo is gone. Or maybe I guess there's a chance that it could be underneath the paint, I'm not sure. These tuners are also not original. They're Grovers. And if you look really close in the right kind of light, you can see the imprint from the original tuners. And then if we take a look at the back, there are some things back here that don't look original. The way this uh, heel is slanted like that. I haven't seen any pictures online where the heel looks like this, although it's it can be a little hard to tell with some pictures, but this looks like somebody may have taken off some material here, maybe when they were reshaping the horn. If it is somebody's homemade job, it actually looks pretty well done. This strap button does look original though. It's kind of a white plastic maybe, and it looks like ones I've seen, again, online on pictures of other melody makers but I'm guessing that this strap button is not original. It's just a nail driven into there. So let's take the pick guard off and see what's going on under there. It's got some really tiny screws holding it on, which are probably gonna be tough to get out, possibly. Okay, well these screws aren't coming out easily, except for that one, but uh, got to see if I have a better tool for the job. Okay, I got all the screws out, now let's see what's underneath. Well, we've got more blue paint in the cavity and see if I can clean off these pots enough to get a date coat off of them but obviously there's some soldering that needs to be done before this is gonna work at all. So I'm gonna take this inside and see if I can get it working. Okay, so I cleaned off the pot a little bit and I see that it has a 1965 date coat, which sounds about right. And I didn't bother looking at this one yet because it's filthy. While I was poking around under here, I noticed these marks here, which kind of look like marks from a saw blade, which I think um, it's just more evidence to show that this was probably a homemade pickguard, and definitely not the original. And there are some loose wires here, so I'm gonna see if I can get everything connected correctly and see if this works. I think it might be just this one ground wire here that's come loose, so I'm gonna try reattaching that and see if it works.
think I'm just going to bypass the pots altogether and just hook up the pickup straight to the jack and just make sure the pickup works. All right, let's try this again. It's working. So I didn't even attempt to tune this because the strings are ancient and um, the tuners don't work very well. So here it is, out of tune. And this pickup is missing a screw, so it's sitting very low on the bass end, which is probably not helping the sound. But. And it does sound uh, very bright, it's my first impression. Very bright and kind of thin. I don't know if that's just the uh, typical Melody Maker pickup sound or if there's something wrong with it, but I should really get some new strings on there and get a screw into the pickup before I make any final judgments. And also getting uh, the volume pot and the tone pot hooked up again will take off a little bit of the high end, probably. So I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I definitely want to get it playing. Um, I do need a new bridge because this one is staggered for a wound G string. So I'm gonna get one that's got the intonation set up for an unwound G. And um, I'll see if I can get everything, all the electronics hooked up and see how the pickup sounds when everything's working as it should. I'm not crazy about the blue finish. That's obviously not original anyway. I'm not sure if I want to remove that or just try to clean it up. I really like the neck, uh, the feel of the neck, the profile on the back is really, really nice. So that's a good thing. Um, and I probably will need new tuners for it. I haven't checked out the truss rod yet, not sure how that's working, but the neck as it is right now seems pretty straight. So stay tuned. I'll be posting updates to this channel as I make them. Thanks for watching.